is going on everyone? This is Autumn R.V. coming at you from the cage with another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Eevee playthrough road to complete Let's Go so that we can do some fun, fantastical, shiny hunting. And I appreciate you being here today. Of course, if you noticed, I've been doing a little bit of bulk recording today and trying to make these episodes a tad bit shorter into little bite-sized pieces so that hopefully it's not too much at once. Um, if you've been enjoying this series so far, please feel free to leave a like on this video and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch. You know, all that fun stuff. If you want to be friends on the Switch, check out my friend code below. And let me know. We could be doing some max raid battles together. I can feature you on the channel. And again, I keep doing this and I'm apologizing if it's a bad thing. I don't know if it's bad or not. It is warm in my room and we are going to get into this. Answer for the question of the day below. Are you excited for the new mobile game Pokemon Masters that's supposed to be coming out? I think it looks pretty cool and it has a really interesting dynamic where you're battling three Pokemon versus three Pokemon. My hands cut off. Um, and then the trainers can also help the Pokemon out. So I think that'll be really fun to play. I look forward to it. Hoping there's an Umbreon in there somewhere. But in the meantime, we just finished the very, very sad story of Cubone's Mama Marowak. Cried a little bit in the last video, you know, as you do. And we are going to actually go find a Snorlax to try and wake it up and catch it because I want to get the Snorlaxes. So we're going to go find the Snorlaxes, catch them, and then we'll see essentially like how much time we have left in this episode. Also, I love like there's, if you look in the background here, there's like a, it's either a Flareon or an Arcanine just sitting on the back of this Lathras. It's really cute. Alright, let's get going here. Alright, get out of this sad music. And we already fought all of the trainers down here because I remember doing that in one of our other episodes. So. Wait, is there anything upstairs up there? Is there anyone up here? Oh. Did this one also show the tower? There's a man fishing. That's not an invasion of privacy. Oh, that's so sad. What happened? This person's Pokemon's ashes are resting in the tower. That's so sad. I'm so much sadder than I was five seconds ago. May they rest in peace. Alright, let's go find this Snorlax. Wait, we're gonna switch... Oh, I did not heal. Well, too late now. We go and fight this guy with not our completely healed team. It's fine. Everything's fine. Whoops. This way, and then up. This is like the most counterproductive dock. Alright, let's wake this bad boy up. Yeah! Oh, that boy just like jumped. There's something I forgot to mention when I gave you the Poco Flute. Oh, perfect timing. You see, this Pokemon is called Snorlax. It's been known to attack the first thing it sees after waking up. It thinks what it sees is food. Since it can be pretty dangerous, please help calm it down by battling it with your Pokemon. Once you defeat it, it'll become more docile. You should be able to catch it, just like any other Pokemon. Snorlax mistook you for food and attacked. Jeez, thanks, Mr. Fuji. 
His attack rose? What do you mean his attack rose? I don't agree with that. I didn't, I didn't like, sign the permission slip for that. Okay. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. This was the plan before. Put it to sleep. <laughs> It'd be funny if it like sat back down when I went to sleep. Alright, leech seed it. And now we start attacking. Can I throw a Pokeball at it? Oh no. Okay, so I just have to fight it and then I get to catch it, is if I understand correctly. Well, there's another one if I mess up. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna be asleep soon. You know what? If I'm going to bed, you're going to bed too. Just kidding. Snellix said, I am ton I am done with your naps. Really, Rekin? Ah, uh, heckin. Good thing I leech seeded it. Go, Billy. Alright, we're cheating a little bit. So glad I have Leech Seed. Otherwise, this would be a very long battle. Get him. Alright, I think the next double pick will do it if he doesn't wake up. Or I'll just do it. There we go. Good girl. Alright, let's do this. Whoops. Ooh, excellent bro. Darn. Ooh, another excellent throw. Let's get it. Darn. Just kidding. I think I just got it in the groin. <laughs> Sorry, Snorlax. Yeah. Darn. I like all the dust that he kicks up when he jumps. We're so close. 
Hopefully it doesn't run away. Whoops, that was not straight. Oops. Darn it. I got too cocky. I, got, I thought for sure. Whoops. I'm determined to catch it with a Pokeball. <laughs> Oh dear. This might be a mistake. I don't want to talk about it. There we go. We got the Snorlax. Hmm. Ooh, Felicia and Maria leveled up. Good job, babies. Gotta get our screenshot. Uh, ours is a big in, eight foot three inches, and thirteen. Hundred pounds. Uh, we'll eat anything, even if the food happens to be a little moldy. Ooh. It never gets an upset stomach. Upset stomach. I can speak. Oh my, Anamari, that was impressive. There are other Pokemon out there that will try to attack trainers just as Snorlax did. When facing such a Pokemon, the best thing to do is defeat it, then catch it. Remember, defeat, then catch, in that order. Thanks, my guy. It's almost like I haven't been doing this who knows how long. Alright, let's go find the other Snorlax. It is... where is it? I know I saw it in one of the streams that we did, or the videos. But where? Ah! Where? I think it's north of Vermilion between Vermilion and Saffron. Oh, did you find something, cutie? Oh, you're happy! Felicia is happily staring at the swaying flowers. Oh, what a cutie! I love the way Vulpix runs. And exists. Oh, heal. You should heal. I never did that the last time. I should do that now. I'm gonna. Alright. Alright, who do we have in front? Let's move you the medium bird power. Do I have a fishing rod? Can you fish in this game? Um, on graph. Well, if you can, I don't have a fishing rod. I wonder if that fisherman in there has a fishing rod. Will you give me things? Uh. Okay. Sorry, I'm also just like watching my screen to see if this is recording smoothly. It seems like sometimes it doesn't record very smoothly on my computer. Oh, I'm just in Saffron. So is it west of Celadon then? Oh yeah, if we're going to find another Snorlax, I should put Venusaur back in the front. Whoops! 
I was the opposite of what I wanted to do. There we go. Ooh, a ball picks. Okay. Water fountain. Oh, I should get a thunderstone. Is it the first floor? I'm not gonna look at the signs because I'm stubborn. No, I don't want you. What about you? Oh. Oops, sorry, Vulpix. Oh look, it's got Pokemon Quest and that's cute. Ugh. Sorry, Vulpix. Ah, oh, I'm stuck. Ooh, that felt good. Oh, he's over here. Thunderstone! Now I can evolve a Pikachu and then get the uh, Alolan Raichu. I wonder if I can do it from the box. I'm going to be trading this one, so I don't want to give her parsley. Oh, I can send to the professor. I didn't know I could do that. do that, and then we'll do this. Ugh, I gotta do it from the bag. Thunderstone! Level 3 Raichu! Dex entry. Huzzah. When electricity builds up inside its body, it becomes feisty. It also glows in the dark. Alrighty then. Ooh, right to learn Thunder Punch. Alright. Let's go run to Saffron real quick. Get our Alolan Raichu, and then we will continue the Snurlax hunt. Come here, lady. Goodbye, Raichu. Oh, the animations are so cool in this game, man. It makes me so excited for Sword and Shield. 
And we got no love in right you. That's a deck entry, I think. I'm not sure actually if that counts as a deck entry. I like how there's no description. Ah, you can learn psychic. Good to know as I put him immediately back into my box. Medium bird power. Medium bird power. Where'd you go? There you are. Ooh, level 30. <laughs> I definitely got the good end of that. So if I transfer... I caught a lot of bull picks, okay? I don't want to talk about it. Thank you, my girl. This will help me or help a great deal with my research. Would you look at this? You sent me 30 Vulpix. I think you've earned yourself a reward. You sent me 32 Pokemon so far. You're a great aid to my work, Audemarie. Do keep on sending me more Pokemon. Well, I mean, you asked, so... <laughs> thought I'd get some Vulpix candy. I still don't know what they do. I have to research that. This is what happens when you uh, bulk record because you don't go and look up the things that you mentioned in the last episode. Oh, I like Snorlax's sprite. Ooh, three perfect IVs. Nice. What happens if I give my full pixie candy? Let's see. Candy jar. I like the little candy jar. jar. It's cute. Needs one, needs four, needs one. So what happens if I give... Increases the Pokemon speed stat. Leisha got stronger. Okay. So what's the difference? Wait. So it just increased the stat by one? So is it kind of like the vitamins? Somewhat of a clown. Aww. Speed good. HP not so good. I like that. Personality. Somewhat of a clown. I love that. That's so cute. Alright, I have Vulpix candy. What does the Vulpix candy do? Increases all their stats at once. Felicia got stronger. But it doesn't do... It doesn't have anything to do with IVs though, right? It just increases their stats. So it's almost like EV training, is that what it is? <sighs> Somewhat of a clown. I love it. Okay, yeah, I think it's just, like, EV training instead of IV. Alright, I think I figured it out. Do you feel stronger, Volpix? Eh. Yeah. So it's definitely a lot easier than if you're, uh, catching moms for competitive. Because then you can just feed them candies to get the EVs that you want. I hope they continue that in Sword and Shield. They probably won't, but that'd be cool. That is so many Vulpix. I have never seen three Vulpix just pop up like that. That was cool. I should have taken a screenshot, I say, as I'm actively recording a video of it happening so I can just show people the video. Look. <laughs> There's the other Snorlax. Alright. Ooh, 
Ooh, his defense is rose this time. That's no bueno. Alright, we know the plan. Put him to sleep. I like how it's just like, mm -hmm. and then there comes the powder. <laughs> Alright, now we leech seed. Match time, five minutes? Wait, why is there a match time? Was there a match time on the last one? I didn't notice that there was a match time. Oh boy. Uh oh. Okay, we gotta hurry. Oh, he's got lick. Ow. Alright, at least we get the paralysis. I wonder if his set is the same. The last one, we only saw two of the moves. We saw yawn and rest. I wonder if this one is yawn, rest, lick, body slam? The world may never know. Alright, now we're gonna switch into Ev and just go to town. Give me your health! Okay. Pokemon. Ev. Switch. Crap, I didn't know there was a match time. Was there a match time last time? Is there always a match time? And I just have never noticed it? I feel like this is the first time there's a match time. Oh, that's not enough. I swear, if he wakes up and rests... Oh, headbutt. Okay. So lick, headbutt... I wonder if he has yawn and rest as well. Is that the full set? Oh, I have a Snorlax. I should've just looked at this set. It's fine. Everything's fine. He's probably gonna rest this turn, though. Unless if he doesn't survive. Oh, we just barely made it. Good job, Ev. Alright. Let's get him. Alright, he popped out. Oops, I hit you in the brain again. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I would be upset about that too. There we go. Yes! Got him. I keep like not pointing it at the camera the right way. Ooh, we got a berry. Whoa, we got three level ups. Queenie, medium bird power, and Ev. Good job, y'all. I don't know what level Pidgeotto is supposed to evolve. I think it's 36. I'm waiting for Pidgeotto to evolve, and then that's when I'm gonna evolve Felicia and Queenie. <laughs> My catch combo on Snorlax is two. There's only two of them, so... Not much I can do about that. Ooh, let's get that item. Eradicate. Ooh, a PP up. That'd be useful for later on. And I think that's where like the biker gang people are. What route am I on? You can't read the sign from the back. <laughs> oh no, my Umbreon fell. That was worth the screenshot. That's funny. Oh, that's funny. Enjoy a stroll along Pokemon Road. <laughs> you can't read the sign from the back. Oh, that's great. Alright, we are gonna heal, and then we are gonna head to... What's that place called? Saffron City to deal with Team Rocket and the Silk Company. I like how there's a picture of the Pokemon Center in the Pokemon Center. At least it looks like a Pokemon Center. I wish I had a Pokemon with U-Turn. Is it a Pokemon Center? Yeah, it's like a picture of- it almost looks like a mark, but it's a Pokemon Center, I think. I don't know. Alright.
Wait, can I go back here and get that item? Oh yeah! Items! I'm in a bush! <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. Ooh, a nugget! They're giving me all the money! Gotta get that money. Anything on this side? I don't know where I am. Ooh, another one. Ooh, a rare candy. Excellent. I was the type when I was a kid to save rare candies for like when my Pokemon were in like the level 90s, so that way uh, I wouldn't have to get all of that experience to get him up to level 100. Just be like, rare candy, rare candy. Done. Level 100. Don't know if that was smart, but that's what I did. This seems very strange. Who are you? Why is this just a random classroom? This is weird. There's nothing I don't know. I even know that the whole world can be found inside your Nintendo Switch. So connect with friends and enjoy trading Pokemon with one another. Okay. Link and trade battles. No. I want the item. Ooh. Play Rough is a good TM. That could be useful later down the line. What teams do I have? Wait, where's where's the one I just got? Not Dark Pulse. I have Dark Pulse? Play Rough. No one can learn Play Rough, of course. Got Roost. Teleport. I didn't know I had Dark Balls. It's good to know. Oh, I have Mega Drain? I could have been doing Mega Drain this whole time. <sighs> no, I try to be a good person. <laughs> what you do? Everyone can learn stuff. Rest, red screen, button hand, facade, dig. Actually, I should have some on there dig. Need more ground moves. Uh, yeah, only oh, does 15 damage. And I have. A lot of well, I guess I don't have anything super effective against fairy, but that's about it. Why? Why can Maria learn Thunderbolt? Question mark. Many many question marks. Ooh, Scald. I think Waterfall's better for Gyarados, so though, it's physical. Yeah. So if I look at Gyarados, I think Gyarados is a more physical mon. Oops, this one. Oh yeah. Actually, I probably shouldn't have taught him Thunderbolt. Probably isn't going to do much. His special attack is so low. Ooh. What is... Oh, attack and special attack are exactly the same. Alrighty. Okay. What's this book? Does this book say anything? Pamphlet on TMs. 60 TMs and all. I want to collect all the TMs. I just love how there's a random classroom just like in the back corner of the like isn't this like the big shopping center? <laughs> like why is there a random... I don't understand. Where's this Game Freak? 
I might be game freak. Now, I'm pretty sure it's the shopping center. Is it? There's only one way to find out. Go down here. Ah. Exploring. I think it is Game Freak actually. With this one? Condominiums. Anyway, let's just go to Saffron City to get ready for Team Rocket. Who am I have in front? Let's move you with uh So this is going to wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you've been enjoying this series so far and want to see more or just see more content from me in general, please feel free to like and subscribe. Sorry, I'm trying to like find where I'm supposed to go. Here we are. All right, so we are going to save and uh, continue in the next episode. So, again, thank you so much for checking this out. Don't forget to answer the question of the day down below. Are you excited for the new mobile game Pokemon Masters? But in the meantime, this is Autumn Marie signing off. <laughs>